WhatsApp group of people coming to Colombia th- for 2017. So you know you keep on posting regularly that I have this apartment in mind, this is my budget, this is what these are my preferences. Let's say you're a vegetarian, I would want to stay only with vegetarians or a non-smoker, non-drinker or whatever. You just put down your preferences and people start messaging you, you meet them, you hang out, you know, you decide that okay, I would want to risk my life living with you. It wasn't very difficult on my part, but that's like one thing I would tell everybody to get their lease, you know, their apartment lease back in India. Otherwise, if you come here, you're going to have to pay a lot more money for stay and before you find an apartment. So yeah, for me, it was way more simpler. Although my apartment was really, really dirty when the previous tenants moved out, but we told our landlord that we wouldn't want to do that please get it cleaned before we move in and the best part of my apartment is it's two minutes walking from where I have to go every single day so I live on like 124th in Amsterdam and my school is at 120th in Amsterdam so I do not want to give up on this if you want a single room it should be between 950 to I know people who are paying eighteen hundred dollars a month for uh, for a room, but if you're sharing your apartment, it should be anywhere between six hundred to nine hundred dollars. It depends on the number of rooms in the apartment. So more the number of rooms, the cheaper the apartment is going to be. So let's say you spend a thousand dollars on your rent. You and if you cook every single day, like daily, and you don't eat out at all, your groceries are going to be about hundred dollars a month. And if you eat out, it's going to be more expensive for you because it's easier to buy and cook stuff. Like it's going to be cheaper to buy and cook stuff than eat out every single day because you're going to spend at least. 10 to 15 dollars on every meal that you have. I did not choose Colombia because of New York City, but I was lucky enough to get into it. And then, you know, New York City was an addition to it. And it's very comparable to Mumbai. That's the best part about it. So I feel like I'm still in Mumbai. It's, they have stinky roads, they're dirty. You see people everywhere. And that's the best part about New York City but uh, my transition was you cannot be shy over here once you get here you cannot be like oh my god can I how can I ask this person for something you need to reach out to people if you want something and if you ask you always get it that's what I learned after my first semester at Columbia that you need to ask if you want something so I think that's now that I look back of what I was when I was back in Mumbai and now I think there's a lot of change. I am more open to new ideas and you know, more hardworking. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's like my change. <laughs> you cannot be lazy over here because everybody's smart. If you feel that okay, you know people are here just to get their degree and maybe go back home or maybe like you know do something else in life or anything but then there's gonna be so much competition if if you're not proactive if you don't use your resources carefully especially at Columbia you have so many resources you have such great allies you have such great connections to make and if you don't make the most of the money you're paying at Columbia then it's not even worth it Every university is going to offer you courses, the best of the courses, but what Colombia has to offer you is connections. Each credit that you take is going to cost you about 1937. Yeah, 1937. So you see that plus 
then they have a lot of extra like the insurance is really expensive and Colombia does not let you take any outside insurance you're, you're compulsorily enrolled into Colombia's insurance policy so that becomes expensive too but every semester it's about $25,000 yeah a forex card and that had like two thousand dollars on it and i carried like hundred dollars as cash but i did not carry too much money because i knew that my dad had already you know already set up an account or whatever and the day i landed i got an account myself and he transferred all the money and that was beneficial for me because i had relatives over here who helped me through everything like setting up my account or getting my SSN or anything like that you know I always had somebody to rely on so it was way easier for me but I don't think you need anything more than hundred dollars in cash and thousand to two thousand dollars to get you started with and then your parents can always transfer the money because you get a lot of time to pay your fees so you don't need to worry about that and unless you don't have a house uh, Colombia has an Indian student association and they uh, you know they arrange for these accommodations where you get like $30 per day like uh, at a very subsidized rate like living in New York City if you don't have an apartment and if you need to hunt for one also you can try making friends or I'm sure everybody is connected to their seniors and you can tell them you know can I please crash for like let's say a week because I don't have an apartment and I'm looking for one and I wouldn't want to spend more People always help over here because they know it, they've been through it, and they nobody would say no, you know what, I cannot do this. They will always help you with everything you need, so you don't need to worry too much about it. At least for the fourth semester, a lot of people say it's easier if you stay closer to your, your university because I had courses that would like even classes and I would get down at 9.55 in the night. So, you know, traveling all the way back would take me at least an hour. And then getting back again, coming back to the university next day morning, rather I would prefer staying close to the university. So even if I want to sit in the university and work late in the night, it wouldn't be an issue for me. 